Hey, thanks for tuning in to this demonstration video provided by Information First in partnership with Hewlett Packard Enterprise. We're pleased to produce this video showcasing the new and advanced search features of Content Manager 9.1 Web Client. Finally, the web client we've all been looking for and waiting for. Who are we? Information First is a gold certified partner to Hewlett Packard Enterprise in the information governance space. That space includes products such as Structured Data Manager, Control Point, and HPE Content Manager, formerly known as HP Records Manager, formerly known as TowerSoft Trim Context. Our company has combined industry experience of over 80 years. We specialize in enterprise content management, records and data management, business process management, and legacy data analytics and cleanup. Our, our services include training and education, data conversion from other systems into content manager, health checks and upgrades to your current trim or content manager implementation, and turnkey project implementation. We will take you from start to finish all and under one roof. We've been asked to put together this video by Hewlett Packard, showcasing some of the new features of the web client, in particular, why interest is finally the web client we've been looking for and some of the more advanced search features built into the product. The ability to build a multi-clause search in the web client, the ability to now access multiple or any number of search forms, and finally, the ability to save searches directly from the web client. And I wanted to showcase some of those. The best way to showcase that for you is to demonstrate it in the desktop client, what we're all used to, and how this is gonna work in the desktop client or in the web client going forward. So I'm gonna start by opening up Content Manager on the desktop. I'll let it load here for a moment. And what everybody would probably do if I was doing a search, I got a couple of options. I can go right to my quick search here. You can see the classic, almost cliche search of dugongs. Kick that off and I get 17 records. So maybe I want to do another search. I might go up to my search ribbon, click on search records, title word. Let's say I want to search for records with the word marine in them. And you can see with the Boolean search editor, it's actually building that search criteria for you down here. You can see title word marine and you click the OK button to execute that search. And we get our 32 records with the title word marine in it. I have too many results. I might want to go and do a refinement, maybe restrict that search range into the year 1996. So what I would do is go up here to my refine search button. Notice I could also hit the F7 key on the keyboard. Click that up, and I want to add a new clause. So I'm going to go down to the bottom here, click New. And now with my title word Marine and title word Marine, I want to change that. So I'm going to look in my history, look for my date registered. I'm going to look for any valid search expression. And I'm just going to type in the year 1996. Now notice as I type that and change it down below, the clauses are being modified as well. So we have title word Marine date registered on 1996. Click OK to execute that search and I get four results. Now we could imagine there's 400 results. I want to refine this search even yet again. I want to say I'm not interested in containers. I only want to see documents. Click the refine search button again. It brings back all that criteria. And now I want to click on the record type tab. Isolate the one record type that I want to do that by deselecting all selecting my pink or document, click OK, and I find the single record that I'm looking for. So that was a compound robust search being executed on the desktop. Let's see how that's going to look in the web client. Let me just switch over here. Now I'm in the web client. <clears throat> so again, just to show you, I could come up here like I did in the video or earlier. I did a dugong search and I find my 17 results. But now I want to illustrate how we can build a, a robust search. So I'm going to now click on the magnifying glass with the search editor. Finally, my dugong search results pop up. That's okay. Let's click on search editor. And now this looks a lot like the desktop client. So I want to remove my dugong query. And now down here, similar to when you work in the desktop, you have the ability to search for things alphabetically 
if you don't quite know what you're looking for, or maybe by category. And notice you can isolate things by records management features, by additional fields, by text searches, etc. So I could look in the text search. I could see title word, which is exactly what I'm looking for. And I'm just going to fill in the criteria that I want, marine. And then I'm going to click add this to the search clause. And it goes up to the query above. I can execute this right now by clicking search. It goes off and like in the desktop, 32 results have been found. Now I want to refine that search. Same as hitting F7 in the desktop. I'm going to go back to my magnifying glass with the explanation point. And I want to add in a registered. So I'm just going to type in the word registered like that. It pops up, date registered. Notice very similar dialogue. I can do it by range. I like that string format, and I'm just going to put in 1996, just like I did in the desktop client. Add this search clause. Now I've got title word marine and date registered. Go down and hit my search button, and there are my four results. Remember in the desktop client, I said I still want to refine this even more. I could have 400 results. I want to isolate the one particular record type. I'm going to go back up to my magnifying glass. I don't even have to go that far, but I can click on record types, deselect all, grab my pink one, scroll down, click search, and now I've isolated my single record just the same way as I did in the desktop. Related to that feature, I also wanted to illustrate to you now how I could possibly save this search method. To do that, let's just change the screen a little bit. I'm going to go up to the full screen mode so you guys can get a better view of what you're seeing. And now what I want to do here is at any time, click the save button. So I click save, click the save button. Oh, I'll do it one more time. I was having a little technical difficulties there. Click save. You can see it has the query title Marine and register on 1996. So I'm just going to do, uh, give it a name. I'm going to call this search. I'm going to call this search Marine in 96. Get a little fancy. I'm going to add this to my favorites. And I'm going to click Save. Notice the filter type URI. It is isolating it by record type. Click Save. And now what did that do? Well, that added it over here on my Save Searches now. If I click on that one, I've got Marine in 96. And just because I've been playing with this and illustrating it, let's go look at my Save Searches now. In the desktop client, Marine in 96 has been saved. So... The ability to save searches from the web client and have it instantly <coughs> and directly go into your profile in the desktop client as well. The last thing I wanted to talk about was this idea, this idea of a um, <coughs> multi-field search. So what we could have done if we go to our search for records at any time, we could have changed our editor. Notice this is the Boolean editor and I want to maybe change this to a multi-field editor. Up come the different fields. So I have the ability with this editor to execute multiple clause searches. So I could put in something like marine here. Whoops, I spelt it wrong. Like that. And then I can do date registered. I could do 1996 like that. Execute that search. Oh, it doesn't like that search. So I'd have to do the full one for the whole year. Like that. Execute that search. And remember, we should be finding four records which we do. A lot of people like that multi-field editor. Well, now with the invent with the, the new web client, we can have these, these search forms created. So to create a search form, I'm going to do it in the desktop client. Go to my manage ribbon, click on search forms, and I just want to create a new search form. So let's just say I want to isolate a search form or create a search form that only deals with numbers. So I'm going to call this one numbered search. Search. Uh, use this to search by to search with all number fields, something like that. Whoop, like that. Now, more importantly, I want to get into the form definition. So here in my form definition, what I don't want is anything to do with text. So I can remove from the default. I can remove the text. I can remove the people, and I can remove the dates. Those are search elements I don't want in my form. If I open up numbers, I can see expanded number, container, classification, and unique identifier. So I want to also add 
control number, which is a user-defined field in this data set. So I'm going to scroll down until I see control number. There it is right there. I'm going to add that. And I also want to search by external ID. So I'm going to go down and look for my external ID number. There it is right there. Add that one. So now I've got a couple of ones and I want to remove numbers. Maybe I don't want my users to access. So I'm going to take away classification number and I'm going to take away container number. So now I have four numerical search fields on my search form. I'm going to click OK to save this one. And there it is. Now, if anyone were to execute this one, they're going to do it from the web client. So let's go on over to the web client. And now what I can do is I can go in and look at the available search forms. Hit the drop down on the view search forms. Oh, it hasn't been reset. So let me just do a quick refresh of the browser to get that in here. <clears throat> Take a few seconds. It is a good idea to do that. Of course, your users are logging on and off of the web client. So it would get refreshed at its earliest convenience. So now I can go over to my search forms. And I don't have any saved. I don't have any in my favorite yet. So I'm going to go look at all the available ones. And this is where your corporation can have any number of search forms created. And I, as a user, am only going to pull in the ones I'm interested in. To make it my favorite, I'm just going to put that star. So I've added it to my favorites. I could execute it from here as well. But just to show you what it did now, when I go back to that drop down, number search is available to me. So I go ahead and grab that one. And you can see expanded number, unique identifier, control number. So let me just put in a, a number like 2017, execute that search. And now I find all the records with that control number of 2017. Of course, any user at any time could always use the default one, but just by clicking on it, it comes back again. So this gives them a few options in terms of using those predefined search fields and any time they can pull on it. So you give any number of search fields. So all in all, the web client is greatly improved. As I said in the introduction, it's finally the web client we can all get excited about. It has the ability to save searches from the web client into your profile, has most importantly the ability to build compound and complicated multi-field, um, not multi-field, but multi-clause searches, as well as the ability now to save and retrieve any number of search forms. Uh, so glad, glad you've tuned in. We should be um, expecting to put out a lot more videos around some of the features and benefits of what Content Manager would do. So tune in, subscribe if you want to be notified of future videos as they're released. And again, uh, great thanks to Hewlett Packard for uh, sponsoring this video and assisting us. And if you have any information on who we are, Information First, feel free to uh, follow us on Twitter, uh, this YouTube channel, and of course, visit us on the web at www.infofirst.com with a hyphen. Thanks for tuning in.